and welcome to my channel and today we're going to be doing a build in Del Sol Valley. Um, we're actually going to be building a library. We kind of take the park out. There's a little park in Del Sol Valley that honestly I wasn't that big of a fan of. I didn't think it added a lot to the game. I don't think it added a lot to gameplay. Um, Cause it's kind of like, it's not like you're going to see celebrities at the park. Like, no. Plus, I figured that this is a better option because then your aspiring artists or your aspiring actors, excuse me, have a place to go. They can study music, they can study uh, comedy, they can practice their charisma skill, all while just going to this library, having a chill time. They can also meet more people, there's games, there's all sorts of nifty stuff. I thought it was more and better well suited to the neighborhood than a park. There is still a little park off to the side, so don't get me wrong, there is still a place for your sims to congregate, make a meal, that sort of thing, um, so, which is kind of nice, so, but it's a matter of, I was like, you know what, I just, I wasn't that big of a fan of the park. I really wasn't. I tried. I probably didn't try that hard, to be honest. But I was like, I want a library, so <laughs> here we are. So anyway, uh, I decided to take that little bit off the back, this way we can kind of shorten the roof, kind of make the building feel a little bit more um, modern-esque. It's kind of what I was going for. I, I feel like I achieved it, so there is a couple adjustments we still have to make. And I do apologize, you get very easily distracted. And it is very obvious in this video, because <laughs> I will go from doing this here, and then all of a sudden we're putting bookcases up. Screw flooring, screw lights, screw painting the walls and actually liking how the walls look. No, we're moving directly on to bookcases. Anyway, <laughs> so there's this little cute kid's reading nook here. Um, I kind of wanted it that way, so this way it was a little corner upstairs up there because I always feel like libraries always have like a small spot just for kids um, so this way they can go over they can read a book and then they're quiet and they're away from everyone else and they're generally not disturbing other people that are also attempting to either read study or I guess whatever it is that you do at the library nowadays I haven't been to a library I think in like I don't want to say 10 years that seems like too long I mean, I had a school library. I had a school library up until I was like 18, so I guess it's like seven-ish years ago if I can do math. Yeah, something like that. Uh, but like an actual like library library, I guess it's been, yeah, probably about 10 years. Um, I do still distinctly remember what the library by my home looks like, because um, I used to go there all the time after school as a kid. Now granted, this is not a very kid-centric, kid-friendly library. I mean, you could still have the kids come by. There is still places for them to be. There is still desks for them to study at. There is still books for them to read. So, I mean, it's not like it's that big of a deal. Um, but more what I was thinking was that uh, it's more designed for your aspiring actor or actress. Because it does have a bunch of skill building items. So it makes it a lot easier for your sims to have a place to go to actually try and make it big. Where, because not a lot of like aspiring actors and actresses actually have a lot of money, and so I was thinking, you know what, this might be the perfect opportune idea, uh, opportune time, to uh, put in uh, this library here. Um, there is, of course, lots of seating because I realized there was still a lot of actual requirements I had to meet. Like I hadn't met enough of the requirements yet, um, and I liked using this big giant. I think it's technically a dining table. It might be classified as an accent table. I'm not entirely sure. But I thought it was perfect for more like a... It looks kind of like a coffee... Like a coffee area type thing. Um, and I put some video equipment downstairs. Kind of making it look like... That's where they have like the movies and the DVDs. For when people want to come by and watch a movie. Um, cause, or rent a movie. Or rent a DVD. I know my, my local library does it. They do offer... It, so this way you can rent a movie or a DVD so you don't have to um, so you don't have to uh, go out and buy it um, generally they tend to be older but I mean it is what it is so but I did try to use more real lights more actual lights that you would actually find in a building not just the big beautiful saucers don't get me wrong they're great they're fantastic I love them in game they're amazing most places don't have lights that look like that so um, I do put in a lot of old 
rugs, because my thought process with that was that it's an older place, so it has older flooring and maybe it has like older rugs. Uh, but maybe somebody has come by, they've tried to renovate it. They, they want to make it a focal point for the, um, for the community, you know? I also put in, you can see there, there's some uh, easels there. So this way your sim can also make some money. A microphone to get up their comedy and acting skills. There's a violin. Um, there's a whole bunch of skill building items available in the library. And here we are, we're finally going to be building the park outside. Um, I think this is honestly the most I've ever spent on landscaping, at, like on a lot, I mean ever. I normally don't spend that much time landscaping. Um, so this was kind of something new to me. I kind of wanted to try a little bit more and different landscaping, kind of make it, make it look a little bit better. Maybe I actually feel like I tried. Not just, oh yeah, I guess it looks okay. Yeah, it's fine. This is fine. So, <laughs> we actually did a lot of stuff here. Uh, there's a couple of benches out back. So this way they can, you can also go outside, you can read. Um, there is the, whatchamacallit, the grill there. And so you can actually have like a picnic. Um, and so I was putting in some dirt and I was like, you know what? No, let's put in some stone and stuff. Um, I kept moving the building because I was like, I don't know. This doesn't feel like, this doesn't feel right. So I kind of made this more almost like a courtyard type thing. And then we have the uh, stone that goes around the benches. And then they also go to the trash cans and that thing. I just realized like now, like how much of a difference it actually made. Like when I was doing it, it actually took me a long time to actually change the ground color to how I actually wanted it to look. This is like miles ahead of where it was at one point. <laughs> Um, because now that I'm essentially watching it with you all over again, um, I'm now seeing like how much those little subtle things I did actually made it look different. There was a couple of times I'm like, is this even actually doing anything? This probably doesn't even look any different. This probably looks exactly the same as it did three seconds ago. But no, now I'm finding out, no, it actually does look different. It actually looks kind of nice and it looks kind of cool. Um, move objects is turned on, mostly so this way I can get that, uh, a couple of those rugs size down and things like that and get these rocks and stuff in there um i decided to do this nice uh do these nice rings around some of the rocks and stuff or around some of the rocks fantastic wording there uh, i decided to do these rock rings around these trees uh so this way it kind of like gave it like an actual section um and i decided it was probably an easier to just take everything out and just make a ring out of it and then make sure I had enough. It was probably easier than attempting to pull them all out and look for them and yeah they said let's just move the tree out of the way because this is getting annoying. <laughs> uh, this took way longer to do in real life than it looks like right here. Like the rest of this build was super easy in comparison to doing all these stupid little rocks. Now they're not stupid they make it look really pretty. I mean, like, this is going to be miles ahead of where it was when we first started. Um, essentially with a blank lot, because I said, get off my lawn. Um, so anyway, um, decided to do a little bit of stone around the backside, so this way you can kind of walk around the backside of the tree. Um, and I kind of made it, wanted it to look almost like it was a bit, like the rocks were dirty, as if somebody hadn't, like, come by and cleaned them just yet. Um... Or maybe, like, they don't come by and clean them that often. Like, nobody has actually, like, put stone out and things like that. I don't know what was up with me, but I decided to do, like, a bunch of base game items. I think I was trying to do, like, base game and get to work only. I believe I actually did achieve that, if I remember correctly. It is, as far as I know, it is only base game and get famous. So, just in case you were wondering, if all you have is Get Famous, you can use this building. How awesome is that? At least I'm pretty sure. I'm 90, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. Because I was so, I think it was because I was so excited that this is the first time I've achieved something like that in like forever. So anyway, we're going to go ahead, we're going to enter into the tour here. You can see this big, beautiful building. Of course it's fall. Of course it's fall in Delso Valley. Um, and of course we do have Kelly here from our famous Get Famous series. Um, so she can come check it out and then see if there were some things here she can make use of. 
um, while she was here at the library. As we go through the front door, we do have some computers here on the left. There's a couple of uh, tables here to play games on, meet some people. Uh, you can see the easels there, along with the microphone and violin. And there's the computers. Somebody's already using it. So they're super excited that there is a library here in Del Sol Valley. Um, I think this is really what this town needed. And I made sure it kind of fit in by using a lot of the Get Famous items. And it kind of, it definitely feels that way. So, um, the bathrooms look exactly the same. Uh, just kind of mirrored. So I did not go into the other bathroom. I figured you don't really need to see that, to be honest. Um, but we do make sure that they have very fancy plumbing. Almost as if, uh, it's like trying to encourage them to become actors and actresses. Um, and I love this new fencing from Get Famous. Like, I freaking love it to death. Um, these are the stairs from Get Famous. And then here's that little, uh, nook here where you can kind of just chat and talk. Or just read books together. Um, of course, that beautiful glass roof, so when it's nice and sunny outside, you don't even have to have the light lamp turned on. A couple of sofas, a couple of desks, and of course, that little child nook reading area. So go ahead, let me know what you guys think of this build. Definitely leave your feedback, comments, and suggestions all down below. If there is anything you are interested in seeing, Definitely leave that down below. If there's anything you want to have see me build, if there's anything you're interested in watching, let me know. I always love hearing from you guys. Um, definitely leave all that down below. All my social media is also in that description box in case you want to hit me up on Twitch, Twitter, or Facebook. And we do currently live stream on Twitch three times a week on Mondays, the Thursdays, and Saturdays. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe. This way you can catch more videos just like this one. I mean, who wants to miss out on a Del Sol Valley base game build? I mean, that's pretty awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day. Bye.